the Lord Jesus will never intrude anyone's life. He will never force himself to enter your life forcefully. He will never do that. But he wants your salvation. He came for your salvation. He came for your redemption. The Lord wants you. Why? Because he loves you. He loves you more than himself. And the only way he can send this message without, without going against your freedom of will and freedom of choice, he will speak to you in a parable. What is a parable? A parable is telling me a story and within that story there is a secret. And the reason why the Lord put that secret and that secret something that is very, very expensive. It's priceless. He put it in that story. He hid it in that story. Why? So that when he sends that story your way, it begins to open up a dialect within yourself to hopefully, willingly you choose to chase after the story to find out and discover what is that treasure that is placed and that is hidden in this story. So the Lord sp spoke, he said, a sower went out to sow some seeds. Some fell on the side of the road, some fell on rocky ground, some fell in the midst of thorns, and some fell on good soil. Today, the Lord says, this sower goes, went out to sow good seed in his own field. The sower is Christ himself, our Lord. At the beginning of his ministry, the whole world belonged to Satan. Ever since our father Adam brought God's word, he gave himself to Satan and everything Adam owned became Satan's property and possession. So the whole world became Satan's. So when the Lord came, he had no one in the world. The true divine God was revealed in the flesh, came to seek someone to open a door for this God to enter and deliver them from the enemy's grip and bring that soul back to the Almighty God. So he goes out to sow seed. What happened? Because people had denied God and walked away from God for centuries on end, what did they become? Three things. They become the road, they become that rocky ground, and they become, they became that thorny ground, thorns, ground full of thorns. Three things were in me, in you, and everyone who belonged to the world. The road is my will. The rocky ground is the word I am, me, 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 me. The thorns are the treasures and the murmurs and the gossips of, of the world. I was the road, meaning my will was so weak, I allowed everyone and everything to walk on that road. On the road, cars drive, motorcycles, bicycles, People walk with their dogs, with their animals. The road is used by everyone and everything. When I walked away from God, my will became so weak, everyone ruled over my life. Everyone controlled my life. My so-called friends, they ran my life for me. I had no say. Why? Because every time they called me, they took me out of home into the world, into hell, into Satan's mouth. I was sitting with my family. I was sitting with my brothers, my sisters, my mom, my dad. The so-called friend called me and said, what are you doing? I said, nothing. And then he said, let's go out. And I did because my will is weak. My friend is using me. I allowed everyone to enter my life, shape it, form it the way they chose, not me. The Lord came. He said, you were that wayside. You were that way before. I came with my blood, precious blood. Wipe out your way. And I say to you, I am your way. I gave you my way. The rock I am. He said, I want you to crucify yourself with me on the cross so that when yourself dies on the cross, you live in the I am and there is no other I am but him. 
the one who rose from the dead. I want you to live in my I am, no longer your I am. The treasure, the talks of the people are thorns. We chase the wealth of the world. They are thorns. People that worship material things, those material things that they worship are nothing but thorns hurting you, piercing you, bleeding you to death. I ran after money. I ran after fame. I ran after wealth. I ran after position. And at the end, what happened to me? The grave. I went to the pit. Did I take anything with me? No. Thorns, they grow and they choke you and suffocate you to death.